The old courthouse and old jail are recognized as two of the best pieces of architecture in the Tri-State area. Modernly, known as the building that houses the old catacombs haunted house, the old courthouse has become much more throughout the many years of its existence. I'm Alina McTeer, and I was granted the opportunity to visit the courthouse and talk with the tenants and others to learn about the significant role that the courthouse plays in Evansville's history and how the community still benefits from it today. I am now joined by the Historic Preservation Officer for the Metropolitan Development, Mr. Dennis Al. Hi. Good to see you. Mr. Al, the courthouse is one of the oldest architectures that we do have in Evansville. Mm -hmm. So um, if you could tell me about the construction of the building. Well, the building uh, started, uh, the construction started in 1888 and it was a monumental effort. Well, we have a monumental building and it took just over two years to put this up. They finished it at the end of 1890. And uh, there are literally hundreds and thousands of tons of brick and stone here. It's, a, it, it's an amazing building. The architect here was Henry Walters, a German immigrant who had settled in Louisville, Kentucky, and he designed it. But we have somebody else special involved in this building that you usually don't have one of these when, when you're talking about building a building. We have a sculptor. A sculptor? Uh, mm -hmm. Franz Ingelsmann, uh, another person who was trained in Germany. And if you indeed walk around the building sometime, in fact, bring binoculars, please, you can see his handiwork. And the story is when he was uh, doing all the sculpture, uh, he put on a show for people. People came to watch him sculpt the figures. There are 14 full-size human figures and all the flowers and leaves and, and everything. It, it was quite a show. I know the courthouse held cases, and I was wondering, how did you actually safely move the inmates from the courthouse to the old jail that is across the street? Well, there's actually a tunnel beneath the street, so they could be uh, taken from the basement of the uh, old jail on the other side of Fourth Street, go under to the street, come up through the basement of this uh, uh, building, and up you come, and there you are. How long was the courthouse used for trials and other county business? The courthouse was used up until 1969. You know, it's a gorgeous building and everything, but uh, the county ran out of space here. And if you take a look at it all the way around, there's really no place to add on. You know, it's not easy to put a wing on this, you know, and you can't go up. And um, of course, you can't go down either. So they decided, well, let's build a, a, a new facility and that's the civic center that we have today. Being that the courthouse wasn't used after 1969, was there any type of um, ideas or rumors about the courthouse actually being taken down? It was more than a rumor. The, uh, the county officials uh, uh, tried to find out and, and they did find out how much it would cost to tear it down and the cost was astronomical because when you consider how tall it is, how much weight in stone, brick and mortar is here, and they decided, hmm, we need to find another option. And a group of citizens, the Conrad Baker Foundation, came forward and said, please lease us the building and we will find some uses for it so uh, this can stay as the architectural monument that it is. I can see by looking at the building that there are a lot of um, very magnificent sculptures that are outside, but what do these sculptures exactly represent? Well, there, there are sculptures here that represent the arts, uh, literature, trade and commerce. We even have one out there that represents justice. Can you imagine a courthouse with a sculpture about justice? <laughs> Hopefully. Moving on to the old jail that is across the street. Um, what is this history? Uh, the old jail was constructed at the same time as the old courthouse. It was the same architect, Henry Walters of Louisville. And as I said, it was, designed after a notorious German uh, castle. And it was not only the jail, but also the sheriff's residence. If you look at the front, it looks more like a house. Well, indeed, that's where the sheriff and his family stayed. And in the back is the jail. And if you take a look at the, uh, uh, the stonework in the back, there are huge blocks of stone. You can tell it was built for security. When did the county stop using it as a jail? Uh, the county stopped using that as a jail in 1969, and so the move was 
uh, for both the courthouse and the jail function to go to the Civic Center because in the Civic Center complex, there is a jail. As the historic preservation officer, what is your favorite aspect of the two buildings? The favorite aspect of the two buildings for me, uh, and I'm going to get real big here, is their huge presence downtown. I mean, you can't go in downtown without, you know, being slapped in the face by these huge structures. You can't drive on the Lloyd Expressway without seeing, oh my gosh, there's something huge. In fact, it's such a presence here that even though since 1969, trials have been over at the Civic Center, still to this day, every week, somebody gets a notice to come to court and they come here. And uh, in about six months on the inside, we're gonna have an exhibit that, that will tell the history of this building. So it's a treat inside and out. Um, it's a county building, please. You know, uh, if, if you're here, it's your building too. Come on in, come on around the outside. Uh, it's a real resource. So um, like you told me, they do do the um, trials at the Civic Center, but you just remodeled this magnificent courtroom. Mm -hmm. So what is the courtroom used for today? It's used for ceremonial purposes. Uh, like the Evansville Bar Association, whenever they have uh, a solemn ceremony, they come here. Uh, even the legal community, the judges and lawyers use it for swearing in. I mean, would you, wouldn't you love to be sworn in here? I would love it. And in fact, uh, this is a little bit further in the past, but uh, an Evansville native, uh, uh, Judge Randy Shepard, was sworn in as the uh, uh, as an associate on the Indiana Supreme Court right in this room. And some people rent this uh, place out for weddings and there's a place for receptions uh, and uh, there's a ballroom here. Thank you, Mr. Al, for your time and expertise. I enjoy talking about this building. I am now joined at the old jailhouse with Michael Woods of Woods and Woods Law Offices. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So how long has Woods and Woods Law Offices actually been here at the old jailhouse? We, we actually purchased it in 2003 and then we moved in Thanksgiving of 2004. The building had sat vacant for about 20 years. Somebody else had the building. They had done some renovations, but there was a lot of things that needed to be done. So some things were done really well, some things were not done at all. So we had to do quite a bit of renovations inside. Now the outside, we've not changed at all. Being after the purchase of the building, does the county have any other jurisdiction here now? Well, the, the, we have the building, basically have a long-term lease until 2067. At that time, it reverts back to the county. So th this really is the property of the, the citizens of Vandenberg County. We're really just kind of a trustee. So we don't have the, the right, nor really the desire to change this historic structure, okay? So when it get, in 2067, it goes back to the county. Being that the building has been here for over 100 years, has there been any unique experiences that you can tell me about? We actually have had some of our uh, night janitorial people quit. They, they claim that they heard ghosts. I don't personally believe in that sort of thing, but we really have had people that, that quit. And we've got some employees that will not come in here after dark unless there's other employees here. But the, the main thing that we've had is, like if you're trying to run an electric line, most of the time when you're running through a conventional building, you just have a little bit of drywall. This was a jail. They didn't want people to break out. And so some of these walls, they're this thick of, of, of stone. And it, we've had some real trouble trying to drill through that and make some modifications. So what alterations are you considering making for future changes with the old jailhouse? The outside, we want to keep it the same. If you notice when you came in, we left the bars and that sort of thing. We've really tried to not bother the, this historic building. I mean, I, this building will be here after you and I are gone and need to respect that. So you can see like we left this, this jail. This is the same condition it was when we moved in, same condition it was when they took the last prisoners out. The inside, though, we did have all the rest of the cells removed so we could turn into offices. We've got a couple places where you go from where the sheriff actually lived to the jail. We had to cut holes through the walls. Again, those walls are about this thick, so people couldn't tunnel out of the jail and into where the sheriff's quarters, because the sheriff did live in the front of the building. So there's been some renovations like that. But we've really, really tried hard to not change the historic structure of the building. Thank you, Michael Woods, for your time and allowing our group to come in. It was a pleasure. I'm always happy to show off this bill. I'm really proud of it. Now joining me, the Superintendent of County Buildings in Vandenberg County, Kristen Comer. Hi. Hi. 
Ms. Comer, a lot of people believe that the building, the old courthouse is only used for Halloween, but um, obviously that is not true. So what other businesses do they have here? Well, actually we are currently almost nearly at capacity. Um, we have tenants that lease from us. Aside from that, we do have two uh, Vandenberg County offices that do operate normally from here, the Vandenberg County Engineer's Office and the Vandenberg County Veteran Service Office. Um, what's interesting about our tenants is without really intending to, the old courthouse has become a hub for creative people, for creative entrepreneurs. We have a lot of small, small business startups here and um, we're really excited just sort of the energy that, that that has created around the building. So many of these young business professionals um, that lease space from us, they're very active in the community, they're very active in the preservation effort downtown, and it's a real exciting time. So is there any room for any other businesses? We currently only have one leasable space available left, which is, which is, which is great. Um, down the line, we would like to have some of the other spaces in the building that aren't really usable at this point. We'd like to long range, get those renovated, and make that profitable space as well. So what other changes have been in the building since 1890? There have been numerous renovations to this building over the years. One of the more notable ones was um, in 1923, where um, what once was two separate courtrooms on either end of the building were broken into four courtrooms. Ceilings were lowered. Um, that I'm aware of, that was the first substantial renovation to the building. Um, obviously, several, several more occurring between then and 1969 when the county um, vacated the building to build the Civic Center downtown. Um, after the county vacated the building, um, there was a, a citizen organization that stepped in called the Conrad Baker Foundation, and uh, they launched a community-wide effort to preserve and restore this building and, and kind of create an ongoing use for it after the county vacated in 1969, and that effort did continue until in, the, in the late 1990s when the county took the building back over. Um, more recently, uh, current county commissioner Joe Kiefer has launched a, an effort to sort of restore the corridors of the building, which is the hallways. So when you came in, you would have seen the second, or the first and second floors have been completed. Um, the commissioners are in the process of um, selecting contractors to the third floor, which will begin within the next month or so. So what does the future hold for the old courthouse as well as the old jail? Well, for the old courthouse, um, I really feel like it's a new day here at the old courthouse. There's so many exciting things happening and it's really inspiring to me to see so many young people take an interest in this building. Um, it's not being seen as an old rundown um, burden on the taxpayers. It's being seen as a community centerpiece. It's, it is still a recognizable building to so many people that call Vanderburg County home. And it's good to see something that is old, that is part of our history, have new meaning and have a new purpose and, and, and be a usable, viable facility.